gamers. Today, 10,000 clone troopers stand before an army of 30,000 B-1 battle droids. Their classic nemesis and matchup. Today, I thought it would be interesting to examine which situations clone troopers would be able to defeat battle droids when outnumbered 3 to 1 with massive numbers for each side. So first, we're going to be starting off with 10,000 clone troopers versus 30,000 battle droids on an open plain battlefield, and we will develop the battle from there if the clone troopers lose either way guys let's get right on into it if you do enjoy these ultimate epic battle simulator videos please be sure to hit that like button let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours it helps me out a ton in the algorithm subscribe if you have not already we're working our way towards 400k and comment down below what kind of battles you'd like to see next this was actually a fan request uh on the 10,000 stormtroopers versus 10,000 clone troopers people were like dude do this with battle droids so that's what we're doing today so let's check it out Roy then gamers let's go ahead and press start right here and we have our 10,000 clone troopers assaulting 30,000 battle droids now the clones could very well win this um I believe they have longer range than the battle droids and that is proven right now as they start firing before the battle droids start firing here so the clones will get early leads in terms of kills here we're already seeing a number of battle droids falling but it's probably not going to be enough to really sway the odds of this battle now here come the battle droids starting to get some fire in there but they have to get a lot closer in order to do so so it's really will range actually manage to win the battle for the clone troopers when they're going up against three to one odds or will range not be enough i'm not fully sure if range will be enough here we'll just have to wait and see a little bit it also appears as though the droids aren't quite capable of getting that many clone trooper kills their weapons seem to oh scout just knocked over my microphone once <laughs> one second oh my god let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and pause this thing <laughs> all right scouts in my lap and he just absolutely one two kapuya punched my microphone uh onto the desk so hopefully that didn't hurt your ears too much i i don't think it will i'll try and edit it in post as well and hopefully the microphone settings are still okay uh this <laughs> scout likes to be in my lap sometimes when i'm recording but it can get a little bit hectic in the process. Either way, the clones might win this. I thought they were going to lose. Like, right off the bat, I was like, oh, you know, three to one odds. The clones are good, but they're not that good, you know? But here we have it with the battle droid army succumbing to three to one odds from clone troopers. So a more accurate video would be instead of like, oh, you know, in what situations will 3 to 1 odds for the clones manage to beat the battle droids, but rather a more accurate would be when when do 3 to 1 odds for the droids manage to beat the clones? Because right now, let's see how many kills. Zero kills on clone troopers, and the clone troopers are, are rearing up towards 10,000 B1 battle droids killed. That is, that is nutty numbers, dude. That is nutty. Zero clone troopers. So clearly the droid fire is not powerful enough to actually kill any clone troopers. Not only that, but they have to get so close to the clone troopers in order to shoot them that they're not even able to get that much of a fire output down. This is bonkers. I am seeing a little bit more incoming fire here from the battle droid army. Yeah, a few more clone troopers are getting kicked back, but again, it's not doing enough damage to actually get that initial kill there. So, uh, there are 15,000 B-1 battle droids remaining, 10,000 clone troopers remaining, uh, and the B-1 battle droids are getting absolutely slaughtered here by the clone troopers. I, this was not the outcome I was expecting. I was expecting this battle to be a definitive loss for the clone troopers, but clearly the clone troopers are significantly more powerful, at the very least in this mod. I mean, we know in the, uh, you know, clone trooper universe that they're more, or sorry, the Star Wars universe, not the clone trooper universe. We know in the, clo uh, <laughs> I almost said it again, the Star Wars universe, uh, that the clones are more powerful than the droids, obviously, but this much more powerful? I don't exactly know about that. Oh my god! The droids got a kill. One clone trooper has perished on the battlefield. I'm, I'm searching for him now, but I am not seeing his body, bro. One clone trooper actually did die. If you guys could spot his body in the crowd, let me know. But that is crazy. 
All right, we might as well just let this uh, ride out for a little bit right now. 4,000 droids versus 9,999 clones. All right, we're down to the last 100 battle droids. They are dying, but they're about to to bite the dust here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Only one clone trooper died against 30,000 battle droids, but let's get the battle droids some reinforcements. All right, gamers, so things get a little bit different in this video. So. We have Darth Maul here. That's right, baby. We're bringing Darth Maul into the fold with 28,000 battle droids and only 3,500 clone troopers all stacked within this small coliseum. So let's go ahead and press start right here. So this is going to be a lot more of a dynamic battle, a lot more interesting of a battle, uh, and involves a hero unit, which I also think adds to it as well. So uh, the clones are now outnumbered 10 to 1, plus the droids have a hero unit. However, the clones, of course, still have that massive power and range. Now, I don't think it's that big of a jump to go from 3 to 1 advantage with the clones to a 10 to 1 advantage plus a hero unit when, in the very first battle that we saw we had the clones lose one trooper. I, I don't think it's that big of a stretch to go to this big of a leap of a disadvantage for the clone troopers when they only lost one soldier in the last battle. So let's see if they can't do a little bit better in this battle uh, with uh, significantly less soldiers and going up against more soldiers. So already the clones not really losing too many soldiers and managing to drop a number of droids in this early engagement here. The clones are a lot more scattered right now, so they're not gonna have as good of fire output, but as you can see here, they're still not really taking much losses from the droids they're just getting pushed back their armor is managing to stay resilient against those droid blaster shots many of the clones kind of getting glitched and stuck around the coliseum area you can see they're pushing towards the door trying to get on out here uh, but it's a little bit of a tough exit for them so many of them getting stuck but a few of them are managing to go up top onto this hillside here and fire downwards the clones are finally starting to take some losses but the droid losses are still significantly higher like way way higher we could actually check yeah the clones have only lost 21 soldiers and the droids have lost 530 so clearly still a massive deficit on the battlefield and I think once Darth Maul gets involved, it's going to get a bit harder, although I can't exactly say when or where Darth Maul will get involved because it's going to be kind of hard to pick him out of the crowd in this instance. That is going to be actually especially hard to do, uh, but I'm sure we will see him as he gets closer to clones and starts swinging that dual lightsaber of his baby. It's actually going to be pretty darn poggers right there. Oh my god, I'm so cringe sometimes. Okay, either way, the clone troopers here absolutely gunning down these droids as they make this large scale hill assault right now uh droids clankas if you will dead amongst the uh shiny brothers right here of the clone troopers i wonder what legion of clone troopers this is let me know in the comment section below which legion we should call this one um obviously they're shinies so they don't have any war paint on them quite yet uh, but I, I think it's still fun to assign them a legion i don't know maybe in my head canon i'll make them um the Iron Battalion. That, that'd actually be kind of a fun one. You, you rarely see the Iron Battalion. Oh, in your head canon, what legion is this? Let me know. Either way, the droids actually coming up and cresting over this hill is super advantageous for them because the clones uh, are kind of stuck in a position where they can't fire back, but the droids are close enough that they can fire upwards. Uh, without too much retaliation fire from the clone troopers coming down. So this is actually a very advantageous situation to be in for the battle droids. Either way, the clones still have about 3,500 troopers remaining. They've only lost 71 soldiers, and the droids have lost 1,100. They still have 27,500 remaining. More and more clone troopers entering into the bridge area over here, but still a ton are just stuck in this stadium uh, it's a cluster in here, but that means the clones will continue to get trickle-in reinforcements as the battle goes on, which I think will be highly effective. Still no sight of Darth Maul. That could be the turning point for the droids uh, in this battle here if we do manage to see Darth Maul. There he is! There's Darth Maul! He is going to be coming on up the uh, front steps right here, which is going to be super, super helpful for the droids. He is running really derpily, but he's getting up there. And he's, of course, faster than the droids, too. That, that does make some sense, but um, I just find it a little bit funny. He's probably going to be stuck in the back of the pack here for quite a bit, though. 1,500 droids dead, 100 clones dead. That means the clones right now are averaging 15 kills per one clone, which would be more than enough for the clones to win. And uh, it does seem like Darth Maul is, in fact, now stuck 
in the back of the pack somewhere around here um, and it's probably going to be a while. I don't even see him right now, but it probably will be a while before he actually gets to the front lines here and starts swinging. So we'll, why don't we uh, come back once Darth Maul actually gets to the front here. All right, gamers, a bit of an update here. So the clones have lost almost 500 soldiers right now, and the droids have lost almost 3,000. So the droids are actually making up their deficit a little bit here, and the clones are entering into a bit more of a danger zone, but they could still easily win this, I think. The droids are starting to push the clones back across the bridge here, and we're seeing a pile of clones start to build up. There is a lot of dead droids here too, but lots of clones on the bridge. Darth Maul, I did find him. He is stuck right here between these rocks. So um, he will eventually lead into the battle here. But for now, he's just sort of chilling right there. I think eventually what we'll see happen is the droids actually try and attack the clone interior of the Colosseum right here, which could be just an absolute disaster for everyone involved since it's so close and uh, tightly knit right there. So that could definitely be a little bit tough because the clone reinforcements are really coming in at a bit more of a trickle right now and they're not being nearly as effective as they used to be. So here we go. The droids actually crossing on to the bridge here as night begins to fall across the battlefield here uh, and they might be going into that Colosseum any second now. And yes, we are in fast motion here a little bit because I think it makes it uh, a little bit faster, a little bit more interesting. Sometimes Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator battles can literally last like an hour in real time if you don't fast forward through them or skip or etc or etc et for videos and I think just like an hour of sheer raw battling isn't necessarily the most fun for you guys to watch I don't know you can correct me if I'm wrong but uh, you know just to me that doesn't sound as fun as like getting little snippets of the battle so either way the droid's still making it down the bridge we'll see what happens in just a bit alright gamers so we have progressed further in this battle 751 clones are dead, leaving 2,700 alive, and the droids have lost 5,000 soldiers, leaving 23,500 approximately alive, and they are just now starting to enter in to this area here. You can see the, the few that have been guinea pigs of entering in have already died at the feet of these clone troopers just sort of chilling right here. Uh, as for Darth Maul, let's check and see if he is still stuck over here. He is indeed, so he's going to be there for a while as day begins to break on the battlefield. More clones are still managing to get out, uh, and they are getting quickly slaughtered, almost ramping up to a thousand dead clones at this point in the battlefield, uh, and less droids are coming in, so the clones are starting to make a bit more headway on the outside here. But it's still a little bit tough. And there we go. More droids start entering in as well. So it's a bit of back and forth as to who's attacking who right now. It seems like either side that starts and initiates the attack is immediately slaughtered by the other side on the opposite end of this barrier here. So this battle could go on for a whole lot longer here as neither side really seem to be managing to accomplish all that much. Uh, so I'll keep this running in the background for a little bit here uh, and we'll see if we have any exciting things changing on the battlefield. But right now it's going to be, I think, a lot more of this for a while. So if anything exciting happens, I will start recording again. But for now, I'll let this run for a little bit. All right, gamers. Ooh, what happened there? What the heck is going on? Okay, I don't know what just happened to my recording software. But um, <laughs> either way, I let it run for a little bit bit here letting letting some uh stuff happen and uh what we ended up getting is floating clone troopers after a while um which is a glitch that happens every so often but there's not too many of the floating clone troopers so i'm not really too worried about it there's just a few um here and there <laughs> it just looks really doofy when you do see it but uh, again it's it's not really the end of the world if there's just a few of them i think it has to do with the fact that they're getting shoved out of the Coliseum here which is resulting in them like gliding forward but the ones who haven't been shoved out of the Coliseum yet are doing just fine so um, if it gets really bad we'll just shut it down but it seems okay for now either way the droids aren't floating and uh, they still have 17,800 left the clones only have 1,290 left so the clones have uh, started to lose a lot more troopers many of them are ascending into the heavens right now uh, and uh, the clones have killed 10,000 troopers though but they've lost 2,183 so um, you know not the greatest for the clones but they're just they're just doing okay um, it actually seems like a lot more of these floating clone glitches are happening currently um, 
I'll just sort of let it ride for a little bit longer, uh, and hopefully the glitch sort of solves itself, but we'll see if that happens. Alright gamers, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator has once again uh, just killed itself. Um, yeah, it's, it's totally broken. God, I can't wait for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 to come out so we can finally finish battles properly. Either way, I do still think this video was pretty fun, um, so I'm going to post it either way. Um, I had fun watching it at the very least, so I think a few of you guys will as well. What do you guys think about this? What, Who do you think would have won if the battle kept going? Because the clones only had 1,000 troopers left, and the droids only had 17,000 troopers left. I personally think the droids would have won at this point. They still haven't really utilized Darth Maul to his fullest potential. Um, and I think that would have swayed the tides in the droid's favor. Let me know in the comments. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below who you think would have won if the game hadn't glitched. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.